Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergy. Guess you didn't get enough weapons last time, so I have some more for you. Let's jump right into it. Here's my list of Top 10 Best Superhero Weapons, Part 2. Number 10, Blade's Double-Edged Sword. In the comics and the movies, Blade uses a wicked sword to slice and dice his enemies. While in the comics there isn't much attention put towards the sword, in the films they explain that the blade is made of acid etched titanium, which explains its effectiveness. But there's one other feature that makes this weapon sick in my books. There's a secret button on the sword's hilt that few know about that must be pressed when you wield the sword, and if it isn't pressed, a series of blades will stab into the user's wrist. While Blade has a bunch of cool weapons, his sword is definitely the coolest in my opinion. Number 9. The Phantom Zone Projector The Phantom Zone Projector is a pretty simple yet powerful weapon. It has the power to send people or objects to and from the Phantom Zone, a barren region outside the space-time continuum where dangerous criminals are often sent. It really doesn't have any other use and to be honest the big bad guys pretty much always find a way out. But it's just such a classic weapon that I couldn't exclude it from this list. Number 8. Hellboy's Good Samaritan The Samaritan is Hellboy's trusty revolver. It's oversized with extra large caliber bullets in a four round chamber. The bullets are made to be able to penetrate pretty much any material and the gun is made of metal from church bells, less silver and other mystical metals. And the grip is carved from pieces of the true cross. The Good Samaritan is also super strong, able to resist most attacks. Something about the big freaking gun and the huge bullets is just so cool and it's so fitting that Hellboy would have a gun made of materials with such holy sources. With a cool story, awesome looks and crazy power, the Good Samaritan is one heck of a weapon in the right hands. Name the right red demonic hands. Number 7. Captain America's Shield Captain America's Shield is his primary weapon, allowing him to perform a number of feats. Whether he's blocking bullets, breaking through doors, or throwing it like a physics defying boomerang, Cap relies heavily on his signature shield. The shield was created by Dr. Myron McLean, who worked tirelessly to create a vibranium alloy that could rival adamantium in strength. Painted in good old red, white, and blue, the shield was presented to Cap and was with him when he was frozen in ice. Upon his revival, the shield was Improved by Tony Stark, allowing Cap to control it in flight and increase the versatility of the shield. Today, his shield is not only a powerful and useful weapon, but it's basically synonymous with Captain America. Number 6. The Cosmic Cube the Cosmic Cube is essentially a magic lamp from space that allows the holder to warp reality as they see fit. It does this by opening a rift to the dimension inhabited by the Beyonder, and allowing extra dimensional energy to enter the wielder's dimension. While its power was originally thought to be near infinite, able to manipulate reality throughout the multiverse, it seems to be some somewhat limited, able to truly influence reality on the galactic scale. A cosmic cube can be used in a variety of ways, even nullifying the powers of cosmic beings like the Stranger and the Inbetweener. It even allows Mr. Fantastic to nullify Doctor Doom when he held the power of Galactus. It can also develop its own intelligence, which is affected by the way in which it's used. All in all, it would be pretty handy to have a cosmic cube. Number 5. Doctor Fate's Helm of Nabu The Helm of Nabu is an incredibly powerful and sentient helmet that remains dormant until it becomes in contact with a human host. Once bonded with a host, it can bestow upon them a huge range of abilities. These include teleportation, telepathy, telekinesis, matter transmutation, precognition, invulnerability, and flight, as well as granting the wearer access to the magical knowledge of Dr. Fate himself, which lets them cast powerful spells. This is one of the most powerful items on this list, considering a lot of these abilities would be incredibly strong on their own. The sentience in the helmet also seems to have a conscience, as it doesn't work properly when used for evil. All in all, a really cool and super powerful weapon in the right hands, or on the right head. Number 4. Hercules' Golden Mace Hercules' mace is physically one of the strongest weapons ever made, since it's made of adamantium standing up to attacks even from Thor's hammer Mjolnir. It was forged by Hephaestus the Olympian, made to replace Hercules' previous wooden club. While it's obviously excellent at smashing people's heads in, it does have other uses and powers, even used by Amadeus Cho as a capacitor to redirect energy. Combined with Hercules' incredible strength, the Golden Mace is a pretty unstoppable force. I'm so glad that point's done, because if I say Hercules's one more time, I'm going to go crazy. Number 3. Wonder Woman's Lasso of Truth The Lasso of Truth has the ability to compel anyone to tell the truth. Yeah, it's kind of self-explanatory, but it's super useful and pretty overpowered to be honest. Sure you can't kill people with it, but the benefits of being able to extract a bad guy's plan from a henchman you catch is invaluable. Interestingly, the lasso was actually created as an allegory for feminine charm, with its ability to get the truth out of people being compared to a woman's ability to charm 
information out of someone. Neat and a little sexist. Number two, the anti-life equation. The anti-life equation is kind of like Marvel's version of the world's funniest joke for Monty Python. It's the ultimate weapon desired by Darkseid that would allow anyone who knew it to dominate any sentient race. It's called the anti-life equation because if someone possesses absolute control over you, you're not really alive. Originally known by billion dollar Bates, the equation died with him. Darkseid managed to clone Bates and extracted the equation from the clones but was thankfully stopped by Orion. While Orion was tempted to use it for good, he decided against it, which is probably wise. Number 1. The Ultimate Nullifier Once described as the only weapon that could defeat Galactus, the Ultimate Nullifier is of course an incredibly powerful weapon. Kept safe by Galactus in his workshop, the weapon is occasionally stolen and used for various means, even threatening Galactus himself. As the universe's most devastating weapon, the Nullifier can destroy anyone the wielder wants dead. In the right hands, it can even destroy entire timelines. Now that's power. That's it for now. Thank you for watching guys. If you want to see more, smack that subscribe button to keep informed on all things nerd. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter at Ron underscore McKenzie underscore. Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie LaFergie with Top 10 Nerd. Later, nerds.